Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel, and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools, and tactics that can help you grow from where you are to an epic level of success. So, if you want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss. any updates abasu hi sir i am in first year and i know the basics of data structures and algorithm then html css javascript what should be an, my next step okay so uh, your next step should be building applications using whatever you know okay but you are still in the first year of engineering i would suggest that wait till you come in your third year of engineering okay you master these data structures and algorithm you if you have the textbook in the textbook there are there are problem statements there are uh, questions you start solving that question using your code whatever programming languages you are using okay uh, see it is not about learning many different programming languages and many different technologies and these things okay it is about mastering something to an extent that when you start programming you are ahead of everybody else okay so if you if you take the example of sachin tendulkar sachin tendulkar became the greatest cricketer of all time goat greatest of all time i recently uh, found out this acronym goat uh, on on some other live show they use the acronym goat and i was like okay it's a uh, current generations language so what is goat and i found out it's called great of all times so sachin tendulkar became great of all times by focusing on only one thing his batting okay he made sure he focused on his batting so much that he became the greatest cricketer of all times he 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 was also able to bowl well he was also able to field well but every achievement that he's achieved is through his batting so within your software development career if you want to become a sachin tendulkar of software development then if you are learning something you master it to an extent that when you come out of college whatever you have learned is so good that you can apply that and it will be very easy for you to quickly understand what the software industry needs as far as your software knowledge is concerned and because you have uh, practiced so much you are able to get into the best companies also you are able to do the best work possible right in your first job okay like for example if you master data structures and algorithm then easily you can crack most of the product companies like fang uh, facebook amazon uh airbnb netflix uh google uh microsoft you can easily crack their interviews if you are a master of the basic programming and you are a master of uh, at least one good programming language okay if you have done it in depth in depth in such a way so i would suggest that whatever subjects you are being taught in the college on those subjects you go and you go a little bit deep and do them really well so that you are ready by the time you are in final year okay the challenge that i see uh, happening is that most of software engineers are trying to learn too many things okay i created my entire career on just one programming language visual basic which people in those days never used to even consider it as a programming language because it was too easy to do but i built my entire career on the top of that just because with visual basic i could build any application okay at any given point of time okay so you master your applications okay whatever you know you go on mastering everything okay so let's say there is a subject on design principles in software industry so you master that subject so when you come out you have this complete knowledge of the entire software industry because every subject you have given enough attention to it when you are studying and when you come out you 
start applying that when you start developing these applications okay using using whatever you have learned so i would i would as a student i would really focus on all the subjects that are being taught to me and when in final year or in third year or final year when i have to select the specialization at that point by that time i will have enough information to select a specialization so for example if my college has data science maybe i can choose data science but if i am really good programmer in in java or dot net and i'll do data science then i have this unique capabilities okay or if my college has specialization in machine learning and artificial intelligence or uh, internet of things if i get interested in that so whatever i get interested in the final year in that then i will try to make a career because you'll make a career in something a uh, very uh, small thing which you have learned uh, throughout so you have like 40 subjects uh, 45 subjects throughout the engineering right out of that you will do one tenth of one subject that is what you will get into okay like out of all the 45 subjects in 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 my electronics engineering programming was just one year one subject so out of that 45 i chose programming and i made a career out of that correct so you are going to do that uh, after final year but don't don't get ahead of it don't go ahead of it okay a lot of people think that okay i can no see look at these uh, classical singers you know a classical singer you will not have heard about classical singers till the age of 1920 when they achieve the age of 1920 they are practicing from 4 years you will see in indian idol and all very rarely do really good classical singer come nowadays they are bringing these classical singers because they have realized that these people are really having the best voice and the best uh, training possible but you will see that these classical singers have been learning from from the age of 4 and all they only become famous after 21 22 when they have become masters by that time so that when they hit the stage okay they will perform irrespective of what happens they are going to perform really well okay so so you you prepare yourself this is your preparation time in your college prepare yourself so that when you uh, come out in the final year you're ready okay so this is your training time and they give that time to that don't keep on learning too many things learn something but go in depth and learn really uh, in depth everything that you are learning okay few things but in depth okay like this video if you have not yet like this video share this video with other people make sure that you subscribe to this channel check my programs on a player the link is in the de description it is very useful if you want to get a better salary thank you very much See you in the next live